Updating the Rainmakers firmware is a two-stage process to cover both the FPGA and the display. You'll need both a Mini-B and a Micro-B USB cable in order to do this. The display is updated using IntelliGel's firmware updater program, but the Rainmakers FPGA has to be updated using Altera's proprietary Windows-only Quartus programming software. If you're using a Mac and you don't have Parallels or Boot Camp, there is a free workaround that I'll demonstrate shortly, and it might make you want to find a Windows buddy to do it for you. If you are running Windows, feel free to skip ahead. Oracle's VirtualBox software lets you run a pseudo secondary OS on your system, so download the latest version along with the extensions to allow USB stuff. You'll need a version of Windows for VirtualBox to run, so download and unzip the free Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 8.1 VirtualBox image of Windows. Make sure you do this in Safari because otherwise the zip file will not be properly uncompressed into an OVA file for VirtualBox. Once that finishes downloading, install VirtualBox and from the file menu select Import Appliance. Navigate to the folder where the OVA file for the Windows 8.1 is stored and import it. Now you have Windows running on your Mac. Open Internet Explorer and download Quartus and the firmware file from the IntelliJ website. Just go to FPGA Firmware and download the 32-bit version there. So once that finishes, launch Quartus. Gotta install it, accept the agreement, make sure you read it thoroughly and run the installation. And so once that's installed, you can launch the program and away she goes. So it'll open a bunch of boxes that hide all the notifications. So close that system console and now you can allow access. Uh, it'll open that other signal tap program, which we don't care about. You just want the programmer. Now you can connect the Rainmaker if you haven't already you know, disconnect it from your system. And so we're gonna use the USB mini B connection uh, on the back there. Once it connects, it'll light up with that blue LED. You need to select the USB device in the VirtualBox tab in the bottom there. And if Cordis does not see your USB device, go into devices and printers, Go down to the USB blaster and select hardware. Go into your properties, go change settings, and go to drivers, update driver, and browse for the driver because it was downloaded with all that Cordis uh, programming goodies. So just go to that Cordis um, folder, locate the driver, and then you should be good to go. You gotta install it, of course. So now you can select the USB blaster in the Cordis programmer. And so you want to import the firmware update file. And you want to click that bottom box there under program configure. And make sure you're on JTAG. And then you can run the update. Updating the firmware for the display is quite a bit more straightforward. You just use the IntelliJ firmware updater. There is a Mac and a PC version. Uh, you don't require drivers for either. Actually, I lied. You do need drivers for the firmware updater for Windows, but they're included with the download and there's instructions on the IntelliJ website. From the drop-down menus, you select the Rainmaker and the update version. Uh, remove the system and you connect a USB micro to the top there. And next to that connection, there's a tiny little button. Uh, so you just want to mash your finger or your fingernail into that and press that button while you turn on your system. And so if the screen stays black, but everything else lights up, then it's ready to go. Just hit update and it'll do its thing. Update your system. And uh, once it's done, you can just disconnect it and put it back into your case. And so with it back in there, just turn it on. It'll tell you the, the firmware when you turn it on. And now you can get back to making some rain. Thanks for watching.